Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is the fifth video in my YouTube series and this is a video following the electrics um, for the garden room. So it follows the first fix and uh, not much of the second fix installation but uh, mainly the chasing of the cables and the planning of what I choose to use the room for. So all the lights, different fittings, and also the types of cable I'm using. It's relatively simple compared to a house, but um, a good guide uh, for anyone looking to do their own first fix electrics. Although I don't recommend doing the second fix electrics yourself as a DIY task, um, you can. Um, I did the first fix and a friend did the second fix electrics for me, uh, the connection to the mains board. So I just ran the cables, decided how I wanted it in the room. Um, and he did the connections within the switches and the, connected up the mains board. This is me just uh, doing all the lights. So um, drilling holes through all the joists and then chasing through all the cables. So I decided to go for, in total, 15 uh, down lights, uh, three sets, three rows of five. And this is just me going through with a Bosch spade bit. Uh, this is just before I do the insulation as well. So I've gone for 15 down lights in the ceiling, uh, spotlights, and I've gone for four wall lights. The wall lights are in a warm white and uh, the ceiling's in a cool white. So at this point, I'm just trying to keep all the cables hidden within the roof structure or within the wall structure. So you don't want any cables poking through uh, beyond your plasterboard. So this is just before I put the insulation in the ceiling. So I'm just trying to route it all over to where I want the, um, the switches to be. So this is the switches just as you come in the door. And you've also got the mains board over in this corner. So I'm using a, a garage mains board. Um, when I say garage mains board, it's um, a mini mains board that's connected to the, the house mains board uh, with a 10 mil armored cable. And this is just uh, showing the data that I've run through. So I've run a data cable, I ran two data cables directly to the garden room. Um, these were done some months ago um, as a maybe I'll do build a garden room later on. Uh, so it's just a Cat6 cable and it's been run underneath the patio. I've got one here and I've also got one over by the mains board which is gonna support a uh, Wi-Fi terminal. Diamond. Okay, so this is a uh, first fix done. Um, got all my feeds to the switch, so wall lights. Um, what's this one? A bit of chaos. Uh, outside lights on free core for potential PIR. Uh, you have, uh, that's the power supply, <laughs> the feed um, to the mains. Um, then we have uh, spotlights through in here and then uh, the speakers There's some bluetooth speakers going in there and over there but you can see all the feeds going up 
um, also as well. You've got the ring for the room running all the way around, back up into the ceiling and all the way across, finishing over at the mains here. Um, I've got my 10 mil armoured feed into the building. I uh, just need to foam down there. I've also got a uh, Cat6 cable running into the building here. So there's going to be a Wi-Fi point around here. Uh, mains board up here. It's a feed for a potential air conditioning unit as an add-on later. Um, I've also got a uh, feed, obviously, wall lights. Just about to clip them all. So wall light there, over in that corner, and over in that corner. There's 15 down lights, spotlights. Uh, just about to clip them all across the room. Um, and then got five lights in the soffit fascia running down here. That clears up. This feed running outside and that's pretty much the electrics just need to clip them work out my final points of the double sockets so I've left them long at the moment <laughs> left this way long which is the uh, feed for the wall lights the end of the daisy chain and yeah that's pretty much it And then finally, it was on to the worst job of building the entire garden room, which is the overhead insulation and fishing the cables through it. So I wanted as tight a fit as possible. Um, I'm predominantly cutting these with um, a jigsaw with an insulation blade and the insulation thickness varies from 100 mil to 125 mil. So it's pushed right right up to the sheets of OSB that make up the roof and I'm fishing through the cables as I go. So um, eye protection and a mask, 100%. Um, I'm not wearing a top here, uh, just it's easier to blow myself off with the hoover, blow myself off with the hoover um, on the blower function to get all that dust off and then have a shower immediately afterwards rather than wear a t-shirt, get it covered in the t-shirt, and then try to take the t-shirt off and get also get covered in that. Um, it seems to <laughs> bed into clothing a lot easier than it does onto skin. So yeah, here's just me going through that process. Um, not all of it, just a few clips. And I assure you, this is the worst bit of the whole garden room. So after it got plastered, I had a note of everything that needed to be done. So I started cutting out the spotlights and I'm not an electrician. I had an actual electrician friend who owed me um, some favors. He um, decided to come help me rather than watch me hurt myself or burn down the building. So he's doing all the connections. Um, I'm just drilling all the spotlights and following the plan of where everything is, just making sure I'm putting holes in the right place. So here's all the lights connected, um, all the sockets are done. The only thing that isn't done at this point was the wall lights, which I decided to do after painting the room. But uh, yeah, you can either push the lights back in and paint around them. If you're skilled with a paintbrush, um, luckily, uh, my painter and decorator friend was going to paint this for me um, as a favour. So, yeah, it wasn't an issue. So I just pushed back all the lights and you can see the formation here. Um, the only thing was when um, drilling through the insulation um, to run the cables through, I did put a bit of expanding foam in the gap, as you can see here, just to make sure it's quite airtight, all the insulation. Okay, so you have to ignore how messy... Uh, the cupboard is um, but this is what did for the mains board connection it wasn't done by me it was done by an electrician a qualified electrician is glanded in um, so uh, it's got a 50 amp breaker on there and as you can see same brand obviously 
and it's on the 10 mil armoured which runs all the way to the garden room underneath the floor and these are the data cables that have been uh, run into the house from the garden room they're just waiting to be connected to the internet um, as I say it's a bit of a mess at the moment but uh, yeah so two separate uh, cables were run just in case either of the cables got damaged so they run underneath the patio and yeah the connection to the mains board with the uh, 10 mil armoured Something about you feels so different Yeah, you mess me up inside It's like your energy was kissing my soul back to life was living Now it feels like every part of me is dying Yeah You're gone without a trace, you left me where no one can find me there's no sign of life out here I scream and it goes silent what's been done, how it works, a bit echoing in here, and all the little features of the garden room. So I've got some low level, so, low level sockets going around the room. There is one outside and outdoor socket over there. But internally, um, they're just running in Round in a ring main, they're all 500 off the ground. There's a few dotted over here because the eventual plan is to have it as a bar, so fridge freezers and whatnot. Um, there's a low level socket here, um, it's currently the Wi Fi point, but there's also another Wi Fi point up here, and this one also has a high level socket, so those two would be for the Wi-Fi box. And then obviously you've got the mains board here with um, one of the breakers is spare for a potential air conditioning unit um, where a feed has been run over to here. It's marked in some plans, but it's currently not got any power to it. Um, done some wall lights, so we've got four wall lights. Got a total in here of 15 down lights and uh, two Bluetooth ceiling speakers these caps are paintable as well so you can do paint them to match the room um, that's pretty much it so this is just a selection of sockets it's going to be uh, electric heating down here if we need it through that it's all uh, wi-fi controlled and this um, isn't run as a mesh router um, so there's no conflicts of ip addresses it's just a tp link router um, and I've got two separate feeds to the main house. I could have done one feed from the main house, from that router to here, and then another feed off of the router to say this one inside the wall. However, just concerned in case either of the cables got damaged and they were set underneath this patio quite a while ago. So just run underneath along with the 10 mil armoured until they get to around here and then up and then feed around the room. But um, yeah, that's it all finished for electrics. So I just wanted to say um, thanks to everyone who helped or gave me advice with the electrics or the painting and decorating around the electrics to make sure I didn't uh, cover the sockets and lights all in paint. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see the rest of my YouTube series, click below or subscribe and you can see all the other videos I've done and any future videos that I do. Thanks.